Oh my no, God. God! No, God, please, no! 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 This video is sponsored by TechScore. If you want an amazing platform where you can shop your favorite gadgets and get amazing deals, cashback points, and awesome prizes, then go online to tech-score.com. It's absolutely free to register. I'll put a link to their website in the description below. We have our first look at the official render of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7, courtesy of Evan Blass. He posted this image on his Patreon account. Now, this is the regular Tab S7 with an 11-inch display, and not the Tab S7 Plus with a 12.4-inch panel. The render doesn't show much, just the front of the device and the official wallpaper. There's a selfie camera and two unknown sensors on the front. The device is going to use an in-display fingerprint sensor, but there's no word on whether it's going to be an optical sensor or an ultrasonic sensor. The power and volume buttons can also be seen on the top right side of the tablet. We might see the official render of the Tab S7 Plus really soon, so subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't so you don't miss it. In other news, the Galaxy Note 20 series is not going to use the new Exynos 992. Instead, Samsung is going to stick with the inferior Exynos 990. So Note fans outside North America, China and South Korea are going to be stuck with the much inferior Exynos 990. Remember, the Exynos 990 could hardly keep up with the Snapdragon 865, and now Samsung is going to use the 865 Plus on the Note 20 series, which is going to create an even greater performance gap between the two chipsets. A lot of people are pissed about this, and rightfully so, because after what happened with the Galaxy S20 series, when the board humiliated the Exynos department by insisting they use the Snapdragon 865 instead of the Exynos 990 in its home country, everyone thought Samsung will at least deliver an improved Exynos chipset, the 992, with the Note 20 series, but it seems like that's not going to be the case. Now, this is pretty much confirmed because the Note 20 series should be in its mass production stage by now. So I think if Samsung wants to give the rest of the world an inferior chipset, they should at least reduce the price a little bit or give some more incentives to people that will buy the Note 20 series in these regions so they don't feel like they're being cheated for paying for an inferior chipset. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and if you want to get more tech related videos then definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future video. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.